Our study assess microsatellite instability, which is a genomic marker in tumors that's associated with a lar very large number of mutations due to a variance in the length of DNA fragments um, in the tumor, in tumor versus normal uh, tissue. And microsatellite instability is a marker of Lynch syndrome. And traditionally, MSI um, has been assessed in endometrial and colorectal cancers. But more recently, MSI testing has uh, been increasing due to MSI also being a biomarker for response to immunotherapy. So in fact, because of the FDA approval of pembrolizumab, many more advanced ca cancer patients are now getting MSI analysis on their tumor um, for a biomarker of immunotherapy. And our question was whether uh, the prevalence of Lynch syndrome was also increased across the board in MSI high uh, patients. And the answer? And the answer is yes. So we found that Lynch syndrome was present actually in 16.3% of MSI high tumors and about 50% of those tumors were not the traditional colon and endometrial cancers associated with Lynch, but rather other rare tumors or tumors that have not been implicated in Lynch beforehand. So our data suggests that any tumor that's being tested and if MSI high is found, then those patients should really undergo genetic testing and genetic counseling to get tested for Lynch syndrome. That was the question raised as well, if, it, if that counseling and screening should be offered backwards to their family if there is that hereditary link. Absolutely. Once Lynch syndrome is identified, it has implications for that patient in terms of what kind of cancer screening we would do or even risk-reducing surgeries. And then down the line, we would want to test those patients at risk relatives for the marker. And many times we can identify Lynch syndrome in that setting in unaffected individuals who would then really benefit from cancer prevention and cancer risk reduction measures. The good quote here, absolutely practice changing. Would you agree? I would agree with that because now anytime we see an MSI high tumor, it should really prompt germline genetic testing for Lynch.